Alright guys, welcome back. We're going to be solving question 23 from the first chapter of the Bjorn Johnson textbook, Mechanics of Material. And we have link AB, which has a width of 2 inches and a thickness of quarter inch. And this pin is used to support the end of a horizontal beam. We know that the average normal stress in the link is minus 20 KSI. The minus sign in here shows that the link is in compression. So first hint for us recording the negative sign that we have in here and that the average shearing stress in each of the two pins is 12 KSI. So we have the average normal stress on each of the pins. And in the A part of the question, we need to determine the diameter D of the pins. So we're looking for this D that we have in the figure and the average bearing stress in the length. So we can start with the first given that we have, which is the average normal stress in the length. So we can show it with L in here. And that's going to be the force that we have in the length, which we can show it maybe with P divided by the area of the length. And since it's a compression, the surface that is going to tolerate that stress would be in the middle. And this will be the intersection or the area that we have to take into account. And obviously, if we had like intention, that surface area would have been different because uh, where the pin are located is where the the area that we need to consider would be. So the link is in compression at the area that we have is what we have for this part, which we know one side is B. I want to find the area the it will be simply b times t which is the area of the rectangle that i'm showing in here so the unknown in here is p and we are trying to figure out that force p which would be basically 12 ksi times the area as i mentioned uh it would be b times t b is two and t is a quarter so times two times one over four and basically this is going to be 20 divided by 2, which will be 10. And since our units are KSI inches squared, we're going to get our force in kips. So the force is going to be in 10. Uh, the force is going to be in kips, and the value is 10. So let's move on to the next given that we have. And we know the average shearing stress on pin. Each pin we can show it with P would be 12 KSI. So this will be equal to 12. KSI and the area that we have for the pin. Actually, I'm going to show it in different color. So the area that we have for each pin, the surface is what we have in here, uh, which is basically a circle that is going through this shear stress. And the area would be simply pi over four times d, which is the diameter or the d that we have in here square. So this will be equal to p, which is the same force p that we have in the previous step divided by the area. And as I mentioned, the area would be pi over 4 divided by d squared. So from here, we can find that pi over 4 times d squared would be the force p, which is 10 kips over 12 ksi. So our d squared would be basically 4 over pi times 10 over 12. So if we calculate this, it will be 40 divided by pi. And that's going to be divided by 12, which is going to give us 1.06. And we are interested in the square root of the answer. So if you want to find D, basically at the square root of 1.06. So we have the square root of 1.06, which is going to be 1.03 inch. Or the answer for the A part of the question where we needed to find the diameter of the pins. So the third part, I'm going to show it in different color. So I'm using different colors that we can differentiate the, uh, the area that we need to consider in this question. So in the B part, we have to find the average bearing stress in the link. So what we need for the bearing stress is that... So we are looking for the bearing surface or the surface of contact. And that area would be the area of rectangle representing the projection of the pin on the link. That would be basically this area. So the projection of the rectangle. So it would be 
this is the area in here that has the thickness of T and the length of D. So if I want to if I want to show it like a little bit better, so we have the link in here, which we can show it like that. My drawing is not the greatest, but the whole point is that so we have this diameter or we have this area of the rectangle representing the projection of the pin on the link. So the projection would be something like that if we look at it as a 3D thing. And this would be the area that we need to consider in this question. So uh, one side is D and the thickness is T. So the area would be D times T. So if that's the case, we are looking for the average bearing stress on the link. So the force is the same. We have the force P, but the area that we have is the area that I showed in here, which is basically D times T. So we have the force 10 kips and the D is 1.03 times the T, which from the previous part, it was one quarter and this will be inches square. And basically we have 40 divided by 1.03 which would be 38.83. And that's going to give us KSI and the answer for the B part of the question. So yeah, that's the three different stress that we have in this chapter. We have normal stress, which basically we go with the area of the, the cross section, the area of the cross section that is normal to the force. So we started with this part. Keep in mind that uh, we care about the the member is in compression or tension. It will be different story if we have tension. We have different areas, and that would be where the pins are located. Uh, we we'll solve these types of questions. Check out the Beer and Johnson playlist. You're gonna see those examples in the channel. Hope everything was clear. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Feel free to drop it in the comment section. I'd be happy to answer those. And you guys take care. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.